So guys, in this video, I will teach you how you can download and set up PCSX2, how I do it personally. So, and I'm also covering retro achievements and how you can set up those fancy PS2 covers on this. So first of all, before downloading the emulator, go to the retroachievement.org link is all the links are in the description. You already know it. But anyway, sign up on this website. This website tracks all of your progress on like different emulators. There are a lot of emulators that supports retro achievements. Okay. So I would recommend you to like sign it up and you will see like all the list of the, of the games I have played so far. And it will like detect how many achievements I have regarding different games. I haven't completed any by the way. So now once you do this, download the emulator. Next, what we need to do is we need to extract that zip file. So we'll get something like this. I'm using 7-zip. You can use WinRAR or anything else. So let's just extract the files in the PCSX2 folder. That's done. Now you can even delete the zip file if you want to. So let's just delete that. Now open this folder here. So don't launch the program just yet because we need to do couple of steps and these steps are optional. If you want to do it, then do it. If you don't, that's fine. So what I personally like to do is I like to organize all of my data inside this specific folder here, including my save files, my games and my BIOS files. So how you want to do this? So to do this, first of all, let's create a text document called portable. Done this nice. Now you can create a games folder as well, or you can paste your games like in a different directory if you don't have much space or whatever. So let's just create a games folder here as well. Now launch the emulator. And you will get something like this. Now I would highly recommend you to keep this automatic updates enabled because you get updates. So select your language, select your theme, click on next. Now it's asking me for the BIOS. So how are you going to find the BIOS file? Well, I cannot provide you the link definitely. It's not, it's illegal to provide downloads regarding BIOSes and ROMs. So you already know it. So Google is your best friend. Just Google it and then paste your BIOS. It's a bin file. So paste your BIOS inside this folder here. Then open up your PCSX to set up wizard again and click on refresh list. Once you click on the refresh list, you will get something like this. So if you don't see this, that means your BIOS file is either corrupted. It's not working well with the emulator. So in that case, you need to basically get it from your own PS2 or search around. Okay. That's the only possible solution for you guys. And if you need any other help, just reach out on discord. Anyway, click on next. Now it's asking me to where my games are. So for this, to be honest, I would, I personally just uh, select this games folder over here, but we're not going to do this. Because I already, like I said, I already have, have the games on like a different location. So we're going to select that folder. Now it will ask you like the, would you like to scan the directory recursively click on? Yes, we do want that. And then click on next. Now it's asking me to configure my controllers, click on automatic mapping. So I have a dual sense controller here. So we can just choose dual sense wireless controller. If you have like a Xbox one, like 8 bit do or something like that, it will show you the name over here as well. Then you can also config the second controller here on the controller board too. I don't have it right now. So let's just click on next. So we basically finished the basic tutorial of like the basic setup of emulator and it will launch like that. So now that's basically the fun part. Like this is basically done. So now the next thing what I like to do is click on the settings, then go to the achievements tab. So inside the achievements, click on enable achievements. Don't click on anything else. Scroll all the way down until you find account option. It says not logged in. So we're going to log in now. So type whatever your username and password is and then click on login. And it will ask you, would you like to enable the hardcore mode? I don't want to do that. You can enable it. If you, if you are somebody who like to do like speed runs and stuff, it will like disable save states, cheats and so, some other uh, slowdown functionalities of the emulator. So I don't want that. So let's just click on no. That's done. Now what we need to do is we need to close this. Now let's download those fancy cover files. But before we downloading the covers, let's just change this. So you can change the layout from up top here and increase the size of this. So currently now I'm what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to the browser. You will find a link for this GitHub repository in the description as usual. So scroll all the way down you will see two different URLs over here. So one is for the default covers and one is for the 3D ones. 
So these here are the default covers, the one you're seeing in the preview tab. And personally, I like the default ones. I don't like those 3D uh, artworks. So let's just copy this from here. Go back to the emulator, click on tools and click on down cover downloader. Inside this box, paste the link. And by the way, sometime if your emulator freezes for a second when you paste the link, don't worry. It's a normal behavior. It will like respond in like two or three seconds. Then click on start. Once you paste the link and you get these fancy covers right here. So now if you want to find the best setting, like the best solution for your game, what you need to do is right click, click on properties. And this will, by the way, also add a custom configuration for your game. Okay. So you see the serial number here, copy it. We're going to need it later with the, uh, with the textures as well. Click on check wiki. So on, so it will take you like on the PCSX2 wiki page. And if you like scroll down, you will see like the, there are no issue tab. So usually the fixed, uh, those that are fixed, you don't need to do anything for them. No issue basically are those that have no issue anymore. The active ones are the one you need to fix. So there's a workaround, see? So what you need to do is go to settings, go to game property, emulation, then e cycle it to 130. So this is for urban region, by the way. So I'm already in the property tab, then click on emulation. So let's just set our EE cycle rate to 130%. And then the next thing I would recommend, so this is basically we fix the issue. Next thing I would I recommend is go to patches and enable the port force progressive scan. So different games have different set of patches. Do know that. Make sure you read what it says over here. There are patches for performances. There are patches for bug fixing. There are patches for widescreen support. There are different type of patches available for different games. And the good thing about PCSX2 is you don't need to download them separately. PCSX2 have all the patches available for you guys. So you can just simply go onto this page and enable them manually. That's the only thing you need to do. But anyway, once you are in the graphics tab, now just let's just head over to that. Expect ratio. Now, by default, uh, most PS2 games run in 4 by 3. So you can keep it on 4 by 3 if you have like a nostalgia about 4 by 3 expect ratios. Otherwise, you can choose 16 by 9 widescreen. And the next thing we need to do is the FMV cutscenes. I'm also going to choose 16 by 9 widescreen. Now, let's go to the rendering tab. So on the rendering tab, so this is where the magic of upscaling happen. So you can change your resolution here to up to 8k if you have the hardware for it go go with 8k that's all i'm gonna say otherwise for the most part for the most people there choose the resolution that your monitors support if you have a 4k monitor choose 4k if you have a 1080p monitor because i am basically thinking that you if you have like a 4k monitor for example then you probably have a capable gpu for it right so let's just click on 1080p because I have a 1080p monitor. You can go with 720 if you want to or the native. Native is 480p by the way. If you have like a really uh, low end hardware, then you just stick with native or either 2x, 720. Don't go above 720p. So let's just click on 3x here, 1080p. Next, I don't really recommend you to change any of these because these are basically the best possible settings. We don't need to change that. Now let's go to the texture replacement here. <coughs> so for the texture replacement, First of all, enable the load texture. Then enable the asynchronous texture loading as well. Don't enable pre-caching because this will require you to have a lot of RAM. We don't need this. Don't enable this. So this is done. Now what you need to do is the next thing I would recommend. We're going to come to the texture part. So what do we need to do is now we go to post-processing. You can like even add a CRT shaders over here. So if you want those, you know, CRT shader, because it does make the game look better sometime. But if you want like a clear image, don't do it. So I'm going to keep it as default. OSD is the one where you can like basically uh, show VPS, FPS, uh, percentage, your hardware info, your PCSX2 version and stuff. So this, these are basically the on-screen stats for benchmarking purposes. You can enable or disable them. That's completely up to you. Next is the audio. Audio, just keep it as default. We don't need to change anything. Memory card, don't change anything. Network and SD SDD. So this is basically for those uh, storage drives, I think. To be honest, I personally haven't really done much research about the this specific feature here. So I don't use it. To be honest, for the most people, I don't think you guys will use this. So let's just skip that. Now the achievements, you see. Make sure you enable it. Otherwise, it won't get detected. I mean, by default, it will detect if you like enable in the main setting. But still, I, I highly recommend you to do a check mark. 
that's done click on close go back now we're going to apply the texture pack but before applying make sure you copy this serial number over here because we're going to need this later okay so now go back to the pcsx2 folder wherever you extracted your pcsx2 and you need to find a folder called textures and inside the texture folder you need to create that the folder the serial number we just uh, copied so you're going to need this folder so now next thing what you need to do is so how you gonna find the texture pack so usually they are on gba temp but it's best if you like google it because there are a bunch of different stuff i will link gba temp in the description below i recommend you to create an account there as well by the way so usually uh, textures come in like two different type of uh, form okay either you will get this folder and to be honest i don't recommend you to just drag drop this folder I recommend you to copy this replacement folder inside. So either it's this replacement folder or this folder. And if you have just the PNG files, for example, just these PNG files, different ones, you can create this replacement folder here. So we're going to copy this replacement folder. Go back to the PCSX2 textures, the folder we just created, and then paste the texture packs inside this folder here. Okay. Now this will do the all, all the copy stuff. Give it some time. This texture pack is quite huge. Uh, if you have just the PNG, by the way, guys, once again, you can create the replacement folder inside and then throw all the PNGs inside that folder. Okay. As long as your serial number and the folder name is same, you are fine. The texture will load and but just make sure they are for the, for the game you want to load it for. That's done. Let's go back and launch the urban region. And you see now it's showing the retro achievement icon right here. So that's basically the retro achievement will like do a lot of achievement stuff. And if you uh, look right now, once we are in the menu, you will see how high quality the menu is. So that's that. And there you go. See, now it's quite better compared to before. So, uh, if you like look here, if I show you, if I uncheck the texture loading, basically texture replacement, let's unload. See how blurry it is. It's, it's like, it's such a mess. Look at that. It's so bad. So let's just load texture again. There we go. Uh, loaded. And now the menu is like really high quality. That's it for the video guys. If this video helps you out, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new here and I'm going to see you in the next one.